it looks like the bench production, you didn't get a lot of it in this game here. Talk about what they need to do going forward. You said what? The bench. Uh-huh. Did not score a lot in this game here, give you a lot of production. What do you have to do next in the next few games to help you guys most likely get to the next level? What does the bench have to do? Yes. What did you... I was saying that the bench didn't give a lot of production today in this game here. What do they got to do to help you all out as, the, as what they did in the previous game? What, what they got to do? What they do last game? That's a real question? You for real? No, what I'm asking is just really trying to get an idea of what they need to do. To so what the bench do the last game? They actually played well. They played well. So what they, what they do this game? Today they didn't do well this okay, game. Okay, so what they got to do? Score. Score right? Yep. All right, bet. That's it, right? Yep. Yo, what's going on? It's Joey Yo, man. It's your boy, man. So let me start by saying, man, I got nothing but respect for the WNBA and what's going on, the attention they're getting right now. Shout out to Angel Reese um, and, and a lot of other the, the young ladies. Uh, what's your girl name? Aja, Aja Wilson or something like that. They got a lot of chicks balling in the league right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I used to check in back in the day when Simone Augustus and all them was balling. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, like, right now, the spotlight is on them. So I made this video because I want to say... Somebody need to, like, help them with the media training. And what I mean is, like, so that video I just sh- showed, you know, your girl answered the question. She real angry. She real aggressive. And I'm noticing that's, like, a trend right now with, with how they answering their questions and shit. Now, I want y'all to know my background, right? I went to school for mass communication. I was a sports editor of the school newspaper. So, like, I know the questions that they're going to ask and how they're doing it. And they, they try, of course, the questions are stupid, but that's just, that's how it go. They're going to ask certain questions. But, like, you got to know, in the NBA, LeBron, all these type of people, Curry, like, whoever, like, Kobe Bryant back in the day, whatever, you're going to get questions. Them dudes are trained since they're young to, to deal with the media. Like, in their head, they hear certain questions. It might anger them or whatever. They think it's a stupid question. They just not going to flash out as quick. They're not going to come off that angry, that fast, like, over every little thing. You know, they try to already label black women as the angry black woman, right? And I feel like right now, with all this attention on the WNBA, it look it's a bad look for them to come off as these angry black chicks like, over every little thing. It, it's very aggressive undertones coming out of the WNBA. Like, they just seem mad all the time. And they also coming off as kind of thuggish. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's keep it a hundred. Let's keep it a hundred. Back in the day, the knock on Allen Iverson was that he looked like a thug. He felt like it felt thuggish. And with the WNBA, a lot of these girls, you know what I'm saying, not to speak on, you know, their sexual orientation, but they come off as a little boyish, thuggish. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's going to put off some of the branded opportunities you know what I'm saying? Like I say, my background is uh, is media and marketing, uh, public relations, all that type of stuff. So I know what I'm talking about. Like, I'm looking at the bigger picture and they need to have someone sit down and work on the branding of the WNBA because it could hinder them in the future. You know what I'm saying? Like, the NBA was built understanding that this is a big business that's marketing to was the whole world. Do you get what I'm saying? And the WNBA was so small for so long that they didn't really have to worry about that. You know, their tickets were selling for like $5 tickets, $10 tickets. And now you got tickets going for a thousand dollars and all that shit. But if you not, uh, um, if you keep up this type of behavior and people feeling like, you know, you, you, you off putting to your consumers, because after a while, they start feeling like, I don't, I'm not digging, you know, how they talking and uh, how they carrying themselves. Because there's a certain way you got to act in front of them cameras. You know, you're going to scare off the bag. You're going to scare off the money. People are going to be like, I don't want to watch that type of shit. And, and why, why I made this video is because I'm seeing the comments that's being put onto Twitter, onto Facebook, on Instagram, all that type of stuff. And I want to see these girls win. I want our black queens to be championed, you know what I'm saying? I don't want them to be constantly um, hated on and to feed into the fucking narratives that they try to put on them. You know, I want them to be considered elegant and and not for them to be like, look at these angry black bitches, black 
women always mad about something. They always aggressive and blah, blah, blah. like, you know what I'm saying? That's why LeBron carried the way, himself the way he do. That's why he don't flash out. Even when he want to flash out, he don't. Because he don't want them to try to say, oh, look at that thug. Do you get what I'm saying? And that's why I made this video. You know what I'm saying? And like, she didn't really do too much in that in that video that I, I put prior to me talking right now. But what I'm saying is the undertone of what I've been seeing going on. And like, I, I, I pulled that video because someone that's a, a, a media guy posted that. And he said that the WNBA is not ready for the big stage. And that's what made me make this video. You dig what I'm saying? So like I say... I want to see the WNBA win. I want to see these black girls get the shine that they deserve. You dig what I'm saying? So I'm just putting out there in the universe that we need to get them some media training, get them just to understand that this shit is bigger than just than just them. They doing this for all the little black girls that's going to come behind them and that we need to just clean it up a little bit, you know, and just understand that, you know, we got to carry ourselves a certain way. That even when they're asking them dumbass questions, even when you frustrated about what will happen on the court or what's going on in the locker room, whatever, don't let them trick you out your position that you start spazzing on them. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want them girls to get up at the press conference and go choke a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they, they just like, why are you asking me stupid ass questions? You know what I'm saying? Like, like just chill. Y'all got to learn to chill and take, take the bullshit that the media going to throw at you. You know what I'm saying? And... That's my advice, man.